negative terminal right up to the part that I'm trying to clean, which is, wow, look at this go. Holy cow, this is creating a lot of bubbles. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Okay, so today I'm just gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna clean my uh, my clamps here. I had to leave these on the bottom of the car to hold a part on there. They obviously got some rust. So I'm gonna clean them, and I clean them in a bit, bit of a different way. Instead of just scrubbing them, I'm gonna try using electrolysis. Um, and so if you know anything about the way that rust forms, and you know, I'm not an expert on this, but I'm going back to sort of my grade 10 chemistry here. So you have the um, positively charged steel part and a negatively charged oxygen atom coming in contact with each other, usually through um, through salty water, like you know, you're driving around on the road sort of thing. And uh, the steel is gonna give off some electrons and the oxygen's gonna be like, yeah, cool, let's hang out. And then that basically, there's a chemical reaction there known as a redox reaction and it forms, for, forms rust. Now in electrolysis, we're gonna try to switch that. So now we're gonna negatively charge the uh, steel part and we're gonna positively charge a, what we're gonna call a sacrificial, don't panic, an anode. So what I was doing there was, there's, there's something that I, I, I remember slightly from grade 10 and also from Google 10 minutes ago, which is don't panic. So panic is positive is the anode, negative is the cathode. So we're gonna make the steel part the cathode and the steel wire the anode. Now I'm doing it two different ways. I'm gonna do um, one in a plastic bucket um, and using steel wire as the, uh, as the cathode. And then I'm gonna do it in a uh, metal bucket, a steel bucket, using the bucket itself as the cathode. So I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna try that once, I'm gonna try this once. I'm gonna do the, 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 pot, the uh, plastic one first. Uh, so to do this, uh, you're gonna need a um, sacrificial anode. Sorry, you're gonna need a sacrificial anode. Um, you're gonna need the parts that you want that you want to clean, um, some some gloves. Um, you know, I'm, I'm using this is what I'm gonna use to hang the part with. A uh, piece of string, uh, some string, a uh, battery charger, or some other kind of power source. You could use like a plug-in uh, 12 volt adapter, like just something to to put some power in there. You don't want to use too much. Um, and then an electrolyte. So I, in the, for my electrolyte, I'm using um, TSP. So uh, this might actually have an added benefit. Like if you're trying to um, get rust off something that's also greasy, it might actually decrease as well. <laughs> for your electrolytes, you, you can use um, you can use salt and baking soda, and you know you could use TSP. Apparently, you can use molasses. But th those things, just remember, so salt and baking soda are corrosive on their own. And you put electricity into it, and it's going to be very corrosive. It's going to eat up your your cathode very quickly and it's also going to you know possibly um you know once you take the the part out it's going to rust it again so maybe just avoid that apparently the best thing to use is um washing soda and you know in my parts that's actually kind of a finite resource or, or a limited resource we don't i just can't i can't find it so i'm going to try i'm going to try the tsp thing now remember if you have anything that is you know copper or aluminum on your steel part that's going to get eaten up almost immediately because it's going to give off a lot of free electrons and just like it'll it'll be sort of dead um in no time so um take off all the parts that you don't want to get destroyed sacrificial ca anode don't panic, positive anode. Put that in my bucket. Positive. Right to that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my electrolyte here. Okay, I'm gonna fill the bucket up with water. Nice. So I gotta, what I need to do is I need to make sure that the anode and the cathode don't touch each other. Because if they do, you're gonna have a short circuit basically, and we all know what happens. Lots of sparks, which is fun, but not, not what I'm going for in this case. So I'm gonna hang my part into the electrolyte solution. Now I'm gonna hook the negative terminal right up to the part that I'm trying to clean, which in this case are these Oh, I'm gonna set the battery charger to so here. It says two amps, 12 volts. Let's hope this doesn't blow up. All right, now let's see if we can see anything happening. Oh, look at that. So you can actually see bubbles coming off of the part already. So this is, 
Wow, look at this go. Holy cow, this is creating a lot of bubbles. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. So, yeah, you can see it's, it's actually, oh man, I, you can't really see in there anymore, but you can see all the bubbles coming up, coming off the part. One thing we might be wondering too is, what are those bubbles? Is that oxygen? Yeah. But it's also something else, it's hydrogen. It's, this is hydrogen and oxygen coming out of here. So we gotta be really careful. We wanna do this in, in, an, in a ventilated or an open area um, because, yeah, I mean, this could, this could blow up. I mean, it probably won't, but it could. I think this is working. This is working. Okay, so it's been about six or seven hours now. I can see the bubbles are definitely getting lighter and lighter. And I'm wondering if that's because the cathode, which again is the, sorry, the anode, which is the positive, is, uh, is shot. Let's take a look here. Oh wow, that is just rub rubbing right off by hand like that. So I can just take a wire brush to that. My guess is the anode is completely rusted out. Oh, look at that, yeah. It's totally coated over with this, with this stuff. So I guess that's the rust, maybe? So now the bucket becomes the sacrificial anode. Yeah, you can see the bubbles starting to come off. The metal part there. All right, so I left it in overnight. I'm gonna unplug it and let's see how it looks. So the rust is just sort of coming away there's that black stuff that's left behind but yeah no that looks really good actually okay so look check this out the uh, inside of the oh it's like gooey it's like a bluish color so that's the color of the um, TSP but yeah there's this scale that's on there I imagine that's just ooh, geez, it's really kind of gooey I didn't expect that I thought it was gonna be more like rust but yeah, that's definitely the electrolyte. Well, not definitely. It looks like it's the electrolyte. So, anyway, the bucket still is still sound, um, and the part is clean. So I would say this worked. But um, I don't know if it would have been easier to do this or just take a wire brush to it, to be honest. But there you go. It works. Definitely like rubbing this with the um, with the wire brush. It was it was actually pretty easy. Um, now it's very smooth. It's got those that black left on it, um, but these these work a lot better than they did, and they look a lot better and they feel a lot better. So, I would say that was a mild success. It was a lot easier, I think, than just using the wire brush on its own. And um, yeah, I would say like if you went part by part and you had like big pieces that sort of thing, I think it would work. It would work pretty well. So. Well, and one thing I should mention too is don't forget it is June, so um, I'm still donating all the money from the bed desk plans to Andy for his his channel there, um, uh, the Harmless Farmer. So anybody who wants to buy those those plans, just remember that all the money goes this month goes to Andy.